Hey, we're back with this old mug. See how it's really patchy and how it's just so uneven? It's because that shaving video, I wasn't doing my best. I was just trying to get the hair off of my head. So we're going to fix it and have a little fun. Of course, I had some ideas for my head, but I had to keep it simple and I couldn't just go all out and like overboard. These flower designs were a good idea. They're really easy and these hearts, just a few heart designs I found, just something that anyone can do. Of course, I would have loved to be eccentric and create my own magnificent design, but I need help and I need someone that can do simple things. So that handprint and these horns, so good. I tried to make my own designs, just some simple little, I thought about this big heart on the back of my head, I said that looks dumb. Taking it to the side, side designs are so cute, so I'm gonna make my own. I made two, I did this X design, which I really liked actually, I just couldn't really get a visual for it in real life, and then I tried some little hearts again, because in my opinion the hearts are really cute. So I got a really nice shave, I took my time, it's all even, and it doesn't look like crap hole, and I even did my little neck pubes, you know? The neck pubes, they're gone. One of you suggested that I should let it grow out and try different styles while it grows out, but in my opinion, I think that you should try different styles at a long length and like cut it down all the way to a shaved head to see like what the best style is for you. At this point in the process, I still was extremely confused on what I wanted to do, so I decided to just get the bleach out and make my head a canvas because when I see a white space, there's nothing more inspiring than that white space. On the topic of regrowth though, I did want to say that I am going to grow it out completely after this. I'm going to attempt to keep my natural hair color, I'm going to let it grow out all natural, I've had my fun. You know, I say this every time. I say, oh, this is the last time and I'm really gonna grow it out. I'm gonna grow out my natural hair color and then I get bored of it and I dye it black or blonde or rainbow. My hair hasn't been long in six years, okay? Now is the time. I am not going to try different styles to respond to that person. However, I am going to post pictures every month they are going to be on my instagram but if you show up you know once a month here on my youtube channel you can catch me doing some dumb shit and you'll probably see my hair anyways so you know subscribe i was not prepared for the stench i've bleached my hair many a times okay but the stench the burning of my eyes that is happening it was so overwhelming i I think that it's different because it's on a bald head. It just, it was like burning my direct scalp. I was inhaling fumes of my skin. So that everyone knows, I use splat bleach for every single hairstyle I do. And this time it just was super intense. I don't know. We gotta lock in. We gotta lock in. It's not that bad. Mind over matter. It's not that bad. Hey. Eventually, I just handled it like a man and covered my entire head in a thick layer. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being crazy. It's yellow in here, so we're busting out the toner. This is going to make my head a beautiful white canvas. We're drizzling my head like a freshly baked turnover in the morning for breakfast. Why is it so satisfying to pretend to be a toaster strudel? Get your fucking minds out of the gutter. I'm talking about my hair. Anyways, this is really satisfying to just put this all over my head 
it is already looking like it's turning white. Like, this toner doesn't play. It's from Walmart. All of this is from Walmart. Take your ass to Walmart and have some fun. Customize your character. We only have one life. You're really gonna live life boring? Let's take a peek at what colors we've got going on. I have a little stash already, but if we need to take a trip, then that'll be fine. These colors look promising though, and they look like flower colors, do they not? This blue and this yellow, I have some ideas. I figured that the best way to do this was to put my dyes into little bowls and get some paint brushes and just have a little paint party. I think that's the only way to do it. So we've got this yellow, it's beautimous, it's absolutely vibrant. And this is all Good Dye Young, if you couldn't tell. I only use Good Dye Young because it's the best dye at the Walmarts. And this blue, really nice. It's like a cyan, my favorite kind of blue. We're going in. We're starting with the yellow dots because that's what she wanted to start with. She wanted to be able to space them out using the dots. It didn't work out in the end. We just started doing the petals and then added more after that. So just do whatever feels right for you, okay? The toner worked pretty well though. This head is white. It is ready for some color. It is taking it like a champ. These flowers, yeah, they're not looking good right now because this is just the beginning. You gotta wait until the final product. You know, this was the most embarrassing thing to take out in public during the process. The blonde did not suit me at all bald, okay? Blonde with my long hair is like one of the best hairstyles that I have, okay? I'm a really nice blonde. But when it comes to a shaved head, you can see my shiny scalp, my bleach burned scalp shining, radiating back into your face. We needed some color here, okay? Even if it doesn't turn out good, I'll just re-dye it brown or red or something because the blonde was just embarrassing. Gah. Now, when I saw this as the result, I was a little disappointed, but I had a backup plan, okay? I am going to outline them in black and I am going to go back over them with said pigment because we are not giving up. We cannot give up. I actually attempted to do this all by myself. So I started on this first flower, you know, he's looking pretty good. Just taking my sweet time, you know, I thought I didn't have to rush. Um, I have no idea if hair dye goes out within the next two hours of mixing it, but I just kept doing it anyways. Yes, y'all, this took hours. I am not even playing. It took so many washes, so many different dye processes. If you're going to do this, clear your entire day, okay? It's gonna take that fucking long, especially if you don't wanna be walking out in public with your bleached head blinding everybody in sight. So you just gotta push through it and that's what we're doing. It's turning out super cute. Do you see this? This outline is exactly what I needed. I needed some sort of black in my life. I also think that the black is a good move because it's gonna help it to match with a lot more of my clothes. I think the blue and yellow on its own is, it could be cute. It could, it could have potential, but I think the black needs to tie it all together. The funny thing about it is that I really thought that I could do this all over my head. Like, I thought that I could reach at the back of my head and do it by myself. And let me tell you, that did not happen. I, I screamed for my friend to come in and help me, and she did the rest of it. That flower that looks a little fucked up, it was me. I did that because I tried to do it without being able to see. And if you don't have a buddy, I guess go steal one. Whoa!